everyone, it's Justine. This is a question asked by one of you under one of my videos. Why do men wear trousers and women skirts? Where is that coming from? It's a great question. You would say, well, it's culture. That's the way people in Western Europe dress, right? But in fact, as for many matters of culture, we need to go way back in time to find the answer. At the beginning, everyone wore skirts. In Egypt, everyone from the pharaoh high up in the hierarchy until the simple former was wearing skirts. You know about linen, you know this fine paper and those fine fabrics from Egypt. That was for everyone. In China, the emperor would wear a floor-length dress in bright yellow, usually made in beautiful, beautiful silk. In South America, the Inca civilization, men and women were wearing skirts as well. In ancient Greece and in Rome, men and women wore tunics, so a sort of dress draped around the body together with a cape, and the whole thing was held on the shoulder with a fibula, a sort of clasp, a brooch. You see some in museums now. So men's dresses were shorter, women's were longer, more around the ankle, but everyone was walking around in skirts and it was fine. They would even see skirts as proper clothing, as opposed to what the barbarian people around them were wearing, like people in Byzantium, people of Carthage, and my super rough barbarian ancestors, the Gauls, later called the French. Those are different examples from all around the world and from different moments in time, but you can see that pretty much everywhere until pretty recently, skirts were fine for everyone. So when did that shift happen? When did pants become the only garment acceptable for a man? The influence of the Bible. In the Bible, this subject is mentioned as well. The woman shall not put on the weapons or the armor of the warrior, neither shall the warrior put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. This is believed to be the correct meaning, because in the time when the Old Testament was written, years and years and, and centuries before year zero of our calendar, women and men would go to war in ancient civilizations. So what the text here says is believed to be we people who believe in God and follow the Bible are not going to do it like this. In our culture, only the men will go to war. And the other way around, men should not try to escape going to war by putting on women's garments. That's what we now believe it meant. Then in 1604, a long time ago, King James I of England ordered the Bible to be translated again, newly, into English. The way in which this version was written is a lot easier to follow, a lot easier to read than the original version. But also in some places it's either inaccurate or freely translated. To make it easier, sometimes they interpreted the original text. But since it was so much easier to read, it became extremely popular among all English-speaking Protestants all around the world, and that's the version that really sticked, so to say. The King James Version of the Bible says, The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So it's already a lot more general. And then a newer version was done in modern international English, and that one says, A woman must not wear men's clothing, nor a man wear women's clothing. For the Lord your God detests anyone who does this. Now, this refers to all clothes in general. It became more and more general with every translation. But that's the meaning that was kept in the end. So from that moment on, it really wasn't okay for men to wear skirts. Then men's fashion and women's fashion became more and more different and more and more separated. But beyond the biblical influence, there were also practical reasons. Trousers are just smarter to work ride a horse or go to war, things that men did. Women, on the other hand, were not expected to do much, and in women's fashion, for many, many centuries, practicality wasn't really a concept. Also, it was easier in a skirt to use the restroom, because women need to sit down or at least squat when they had their periods. Sometimes they would wear a rag between their legs to catch the blood, but fabric was expensive, so most of the times they wouldn't wear anything, and in a skirt, it was easier to clean yourself several times a day without staining your outfit. Also, in a time when birth control did not exist, women spend more of their lives pregnant. So a skirt can be shifted up or down, a dress is more forgiving, pants 
just won't fit anymore. Hence the need for pregnancy trousers nowadays. And now? Now, in most Western countries, if a man walks down the street in a skirt or a dress, he will probably get laughed at really badly. It's ingrained in our education, our principles, our culture. But in many other parts of the world right now, men still wear skirts or dresses. And when you travel there as a tourist, it doesn't bother you at all, does it? Examples. In Bhutan, the equivalent of dressing up for work or for events is to wear a kira for the ladies and a go for the gentlemen. I think it looks terribly chic. If it gets cold, they just add thick socks underneath, going up to the knee. And this fold in front serves as a huge pocket. If you thought that Bhutanese men all have a belly in the front, it's actually the stuff they're carrying around with them. And that beats any purse. Buddhist monks wear long dresses everywhere in Asia. Does that look weird? Not at all. It looks incredibly elegant. On Bali, men wear a sarong, so a long wrapped piece of cloth. It's a skirt and they wear that with their sandals or flip-flops. The length is usually between the knee and the ankle from what I've seen there. It's actually a perfect length to cover what needs to be covered, but still have great freedom of movement. Let's talk about Scotland, please. I think a man in a kilt looks amazing. Usually the fabric of a kilt is a work of art in itself. It's nicely woven, tight, thick fabric, and the folds are always absolutely impeccable. Why don't more men wear skirts? Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. And thank you to the person who raised that question. I love questions like this. If you're interested in fashion and style in general, subscribe to my channel and click on that bell so that you'll get information when I upload a new video. I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye.